Here's the plan. Um, so, uh, we'll submit to her will and, uh, serve the Lord Beelzebub with all our hearts. I'll grab Jake. You start the car. We'll drive somewhere safe. I'm thinking the Vatican. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. What are you gonna do? You said it. We have to cut her loose. We? No, I didn't say we. I never said we. <laughs> Hear us, oh horned one. Wrap your dark wings around this young soul. And grant him all the rewards he desires. Okay, um, hi, Mr. Horned One. <laughs> Modern TV shows and movies are riddled with satanic, anti-biblical stuff. So when you go back 15, 20 years and watch something you watched when you were younger, thinking that it was still good, you're very surprised still to find out how it was still leading you to this moment where now certain things that are very anti-biblical are openly accepted. It's very hard to find anything decent to watch. Even Christian movies and family-friendly stuff is going down a bad road. But that's not really what this video is about. I want to focus on the part that I recorded where they have this satanic woman in the house doing stuff. And he's like, oh, let's go somewhere safe like the Vatican. This is a concept that I've actually seen a lot in movies and TV shows. It's, you know, the house of God is safe from demons and evil people. But my question to you is this, are demons and evil spirits not allowed in churches a biblical concept, or is it just something you see on TV? Let's see what the Bible has to say. Mark chapter 1, and immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. We see in the Bible, even back in Jesus' day, it was still perfectly fine for demons to come into churches and synagogues. And the reason I bring this up is to warn you. A lot of people think that their church is a safe place and that no one that's bad could ever enter into it and corrupt it, but that's not a biblical concept. Even in the Bible, we see churches getting corrupted very easily and very quickly. And even in the first and second century, we see church fathers leading people down a bad road like Marcion. He completely departed from the biblical way that the apostles taught us to be Christians. And ironically, his version of Christianity is all too familiar from what I see these days. We need to be on guard and test our pastors and our churches and congregations against what the word of God says and see if they've been corrupted or not.